My name is Keitaro Harada. I am the Artistic and Music Director for the Savannah Philharmonic. My name is Amy Williams. I'm the Executive Director and I've started with the orchestra in October of 2020. I always wanted to come back to Savannah. I graduated my undergraduate and my master's from Mercer University in Macon, Georgia. So Georgia is my home away from home. Coming from an orchestral background, being a bassoon player myself, I come into this from a standpoint of not just knowing the nuts and bolts of the day-to-day -day running an office, but also knowing the music, having pieces that I've fallen in love with. I have lots of friends in Georgia, and to be able to make music with my friends and to share the love of music to this community in Savannah is totally a dream come true. The best experience that I've had in working with the orchestra is really finding that creativity to bring music to all the different locations. With each episode of the soundtrack of Savannah, we take an organization, we partner with the organization, whether it be an arts organization or whether it be a venue or it could be a historic component of the city, and we tie music to it. So with each episode, what's fantastic about it is that you get to learn something new. It's easily accessible and it's also free. One day we had an opportunity with my artistic team as we were exploring and building out the 21-22 season. And what it showed me was how unique the different venues and the different locations of Savannah are. This coming season, we're expanding our horizon. We used to perform just in downtown of Savannah, but now we're going to places like Pooler, Richmond Hill, um, The Landings, Tybee Island, and many more because Savannah Metro is not just Savannah downtown. We have you know, Chatham County, Bryan County, and within, with those two counties itself, we have about 300,000 people. There are a lot of people to explore. To me, the soundtrack of Savannah is more than just us performing music in the community. It's really about that feeling that happens when we all come together that togetherness of creating music, experiencing it all together in really a lot of different places throughout. What I'm trying to do is trying to find what makes Savannah Philharmonic unique to Savannah. So it's really, really about community. It's about finding out how each of the historical parts of Savannah relates to the music making that we do at, on the concert stage. It's also about education. I think the most amazing thing about music education is watching a child's first experience with an instrument. Because if you take it from the standpoint that any sound is successful, you can see a child light up. There's something magical about when an instrument vibrates under their hands and they actually feel it. They lock onto it and you know they're going to stick with it and play music throughout their entire life and experience it differently. If it wasn't for the community, then we would just be the Philharmonic. But we're the Savannah Philharmonic, which means that the Savannah part is the essential element of being part of this community, right? I'm very excited about the Savannah Philharmonic. There's a lot of things that are new. We have a new team, we have a new branding, we have a new logo. But the one thing that is consistent about Savannah Philharmonic is the love towards this community. Our musicians are ready to share the beautiful music to Savannah. And if you've never been to a classical concert or an orchestra concert, please do come, check it out. There might be something that you might like. And if there are music that you want us to perform, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can always find us on social media, comment on our Facebook page, and just Know that we are all part of the community and we want the Savannah Philharmonic to grow together with everyone. So see you at the concert and I hope you enjoy the performances.